So choosing carpet and area rug for your home can be a challenge. Most people focus on style and color, but there's so much more to it than that. Hi, my name is Priscilla Cronin. I'm the manager of Star Carpet Showroom in Hollywood, Florida. We have trade showrooms all over the country. It is a destination for designers that are doing homes for their clients. Thank you so much for coming. The experts at Star Carpet have rolled out the welcome ad for us. Get ready to learn about the many benefits, styles, and trends for carpet on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project, I'm Elena Capra. I love what carpet and area rugs really add to the design of an overall room. It could help define a space, add a pop of color, or even make it feel more cozy. Today we get a crash course on all things carpet. We check out the latest styles and trends, the convenience of cutting and binding carpet on a roll, the benefits of indoor-outdoor rugs, and so much more. So we're here at the South Florida Design Park today at Stark Carpet with the showroom manager Priscilla Hi. Cronin. Priscilla, welcome to Soplo Home Project. Thank you so much for having us. We are so excited to show our viewers today all the things about carpet and area rugs. There's so many questions when it comes to that, Priscilla, and I think that's something that we want to answer for our viewers. So I thought we'd maybe start with the trends. People always want to know what's trending, what's hot in carpeting. So obviously we got a lot of great stuff around yeah, us. Yeah, it's beautiful, right? Where do you want to start? Because I think well, animal prints may be uh, a little hint. <laughs> yes, you think so? <laughs> We've got a lot. Well, animal never goes out of style. That's so true. You in just, fashion and in home decor, never. Yes, you just reinvent the design and the colorway. So um, as you can see from right here, this is antelope axe. This is the first one that we did. And this one over here, we did in the blues and the grays. And now we have some lighter colors that are over here. And it's just, this has texture, that has some shine. This is a very popular one. So you, you can go in any direction you want if you want animal. I think a lot of the time when people think of animal prints, they think of more of the traditional animal prints like cheetah and zebra, but Like that antelope, one right there, yes, yeah. Yes, exactly, like I'm standing on here. Exactly. But antelope is such a sophisticated and beautiful animal print. And I think could really look great just about anywhere, right? Absolutely. We love putting it on stairs. So it's not just for the floors. Your stairs can also have a statement when you have the perfect print pattern rug. And I think on stairs pattern is a little bit more fun. You could also add a little bit of jewelry to that as well. I know you guys have oh, some yes. really pretty accents that I think sometimes people just think carpet to the stairs and leave it there. That's true. Stair rods. I think it's a great way to really amp up the look. It Absolutely. is. You've got leather, metals, any other details. Foam, you have brass. You can choose around it because it's jewelry for the stairs. I love the idea of jewelry in any area of the home. So when you're thinking about amping up the look of your staircase, these stair rods are an amazing way. Yes, they are. Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, we lay out everything you need to know about area rugs. We're hanging out at this corner to ensure we help you make the very best decision when you're protecting your home and your family. We're going to take a look at the decisions that were made here on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are here today at the Stark Carpet Showroom in the South Florida Design Park in Hollywood. And we're joined by Whitney Donati from Stark Carpet. Whitney, welcome. Thank you. So, Whitney, I wanted to show our viewers all the possibilities of designing with carpeting, and not just as, I guess we would call it, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, but creating something out of that carpet in a certain size or shape, and you've got a lot to show us to do that, right? Uh, yes, so wall-to-wall -wall broadloom is carpet is, that is machine manufactured in 12 foot widths, 13 foot widths, and now we're doing hand loomed at 15. Wow, and so that's typically like on a roll. Correct. It's rolled out and you would install it wall-to-wall. -wall. And now you can also utilize it and make it 
any size rug you want as well, right? Correct. You can take a 12 foot roll of carpet, cut it into a circle. Any shape. Any shape, any size. Let's talk a little bit about the way you finish the rug. The most um, common is to do a surged edge. And it, that's that right there with this. Correct. Thing, this as well. So if this was a 12 foot broad loom, you would take it, surge the edge into your size, whether it's a circle or square. And that keeps it from fraying and just finishes the edge. Correct. correct. All comes with a raw edge. Um, there's wool surging. So you can match the color of the carpet with the serge. Correct. And in this case, you can pick up a highlight if you want to accent the sea green instead of the cream. Now, you've got something interesting over here that looks pretty fun. Talk to us about what that is. It looks like a leather. Okay, this is a leatherette. It's actually a faux leather on an indoor-outdoor carpet. For people who want a cleaner look, this is an indoor-outdoor vinyl with a is it leather, faux leather? It totally looks like leather. You could pick pretty much from like any of these materials and bring in the other colors in your room. Correct. And these are done on natural fiber. You can also expand the width. Bindings are only maybe four inches wide, but by adding oh, wow. more than one color. So you can make it a wider Correct. Well. You can get up to an eight foot binding. And I, I think to our viewers at home, this is such a great way to really get creative. And lastly, we even do a nail head. You can do it on a staircase, an area rug, and basically by selecting your nail heads oh, and wow. deciding where you want them applied along the way, you can create even a more interesting look. We see it on furniture. Absolutely. And upholstery. You definitely see it on furniture, and it's really interesting to see it bringing that detail, that metal into your carpeting as well. So Whitney, we have seen so much about how we can customize size and borders, but we've got a little bit to talk about customizing with color, and we're gonna show you that, but first, let's see what Tac Renata from FHIA has for us today. Last week we talked about how important you, the homeowner, are in the process of identifying the right product for your home and how important it is to walk around the perimeter of the home with your contractor to identify some areas of, of concern and some areas that might need uh, special attention. Uh, and this is a great example because this corner is really vulnerable in a hurricane. This is somewhere where we're, we're very susceptible to that cyclone effect of wind, of wind pushing and pulling on this glass, pushing and pulling on this glass, right around the circle of this corner of the home. So this is something that really needs special attention, not only from an ordering the glass right to make sure uh, the glass that's ordered is able to sustain that pressure that's gonna be applied during a real hurricane, but we also wanna make sure that the corner now is really structurally sound to support what could potentially be happening here on this corner. So it's not just something that is an ordinary window or something that's a custom, customary installation. This is somewhere where we really want to take extra precaution, extra care in ordering the glass, make sure the installation is done perfectly when taking into account all the things that we might be susceptible to, especially right here in this corner of the home. We want to make sure this structurally sound, so if this gets hit with impact, it's as strong as the window that we put in. Uh, we want to make sure that we're safe from all the pressures that could be applied over this corner of the home. We want to take into account the overhang. So it's imperative, you know, just like we looked last week at the sliding glass door and making the right decision from the product standpoint based on where that sliding glass door is located in your home, but also right here in a corner is another prime example of why you need to be involved in the process of making sure the right product is ordered and the right installation is going to be done so that your family is safe after you make this investment. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Tat. So, Whitney, I think this is a great time. We've got all the stuff here to talk about finding that perfect color for your carpeting or area rug. We have this beautiful new Allegra program. It consists of this box of colors. So when you're picking from these uh, palms, as we call them in industry speak, right? This allows you to really kind of play and match and pick out the colors you want in your area rug. So like, this is just a really great way to see exactly what the color is gonna look like. Correct, you'll get a rendering. You also get a sample for approval. And that's usually called like a strike off, right? Correct. So that's like exactly what the rug will look like 
A smaller piece. Correct, about a two by two. Okay. And this is wonderful for hand tufted. You can do any shape, any size. And even the textures, right? You see, this is sort of braised here. Correct. Talk to us about how that part could be changed. You can do a high cut pile, a low loop. You can do all one level, like this cool. carpet is all one level. This one adds a bit of the silk into it that gives you a little bit of a shine. And now this one, I'm just seeing a little piece, but from this picture right. it looks like this is just a border. Correct. And then the whole center of the carpet is the solid color. And you'll see that in the rendering, so you can make decisions then. You can make the rendering um, a different color or you can create scale differences. Whether you're looking for wall-to-wall -wall type of application or a simple rug, the options and the colors are really endless. Coming up next, we look at carpet on a roll and all the shapes it can take. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are here at the South Florida Design Park at the Stark Carpet Showroom with Priscilla Cronin, the manager of Star Carpet here yes. in Hollywood. Priscilla, we've covered so much so far, but I think the most popular type of carpet question is always about the area rug. So here we are in a room surrounded by all different beautiful rugs. So let's start first by kind of just giving a little background of like traditional sizes. Uh, program sizes, that's what they call it. It's eight by 10, nine by 12, 10 by 14, 12 by 15, and then, surprise, we now have 13 by 18. Wow, so as rooms get bigger in a lot of these homes, you need the right size rug. So now, we are surrounded by a lot of different rugs, and of course, they're all stacked up here. We've got some beautiful ones in front of us. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about some of the new things we're seeing with area rugs. Well, some of the new things are, is it's textural stuff. I mean, that's been around for a while. They used to have the uh, ink splat, but as you can see from here, we have some really beautiful graphic designs. Yes, super bold. Yes, I love this rug. This just came in. I love this in. too. Yeah. This particular rug is called, uh, it's a design that we call pizzazz. So pretty. Yeah, and we made it in several different colorways, and we now do it in hand loom because it's so popular. The hand loom comes 18 foot wide, so we can make any size rug. Give us some examples of good quality materials that you might find in, a, in an area rug that's going to last. Well, the best quality is 100% wool. This particular rug, the pizzazz, this is a cut pile. There's some heathered yarns in here. People get a little, you know, they're a little paranoid about the silk content because they think the fiber isn't a strong fiber or that it's not cleanable or that it's delicate. It's not. There is Persian rugs with silk in it that have been around for 100 years. So silk is a durable product as it well. It is. As it beautiful. absolutely is. Definitely that depth really allows yes. that pattern to pop. Yes. And the bigger, this is an 8 by 10, but as it gets bigger, it's a beautiful design. And this rug right here, this is a wool and silk. So usually in uh, handmade rugs, we'll say it's 80-20, which is 80% wool, 20% silk. Whatever, the first number is always the higher quality of the, the content, whether it's wool or silk. What would constitute that really super high quality area rug? Well, for us, the high end is our sapphire rugs. These are the master artisans that work on these rugs, and these rugs are the heirlooms of tomorrow. And the quality starts with the content 85% silk, 15% wool. They are made to look old. So is that a trend we are starting to see more of in area rugs? You always think about these more uh, Persian rugs and these beautiful, beautiful designs. Bringing that classic, you said, sort of reimagined, like into a more contemporary feel of the traditional? Right. We have seen it many times. We've been putting them in a lot of homes with all modern furniture in the room, but then there's this classic antique reimagined rug, but it looks like a very modern rug. So these are our two by three samples. Go and touch it and feel how beautiful it is. Oh wow, this is very nice. And I love that it's such a low pile. I think a lot of the time when you're selecting the area rugs for a more high traffic area or even a formal room, sometimes you don't want something that's too thick. Yeah, and this will hold up to anything. So could you share a little bit more, maybe some like key terminology? Someone shopping for rugs. Sometimes you have like, hand loom, tufted, like what are some of the, the key basic ways that if someone was purchasing a certain type of area rug? In the handmade rug area, it is 
hand knotted. So that's the highest, like... Right. The finer the knot, the, the more uh, skilled the weaver is. Because a larger piece of yarn, it has to do with the thickness of the yarn. So they have 200 knot, 150 knot. So the higher knot, the number is, that's a great knot, way to look at it. 60 knot. And the 60 knot is a, is a thicker piece of yarn. So they can make that faster. And, there's, it, and the quality of it is more nubby. That's really a true art, the way those rugs come together. Right, it's, each knot is like a little square. That's why when you have a large rug, it could take eight months, 12 months to, to weave a large rug. That lead time, this is why. When you hear about like tufted rugs and stuff like that, can you explain maybe kind so of So it's a is? canvas and they have a gun and it goes shh, and it just puts the tuftings in there. Okay, so that's more of a like faster process and of course might be a different price point. It's a fact, you can about. get a beautiful, we've had clients come in, they were looking at one of our sapphire rugs, they didn't, the price point wasn't where they wanted to be, so we could make it in hand tufted, same design, there's going to be a little bit difference, but it could be half the price. See, that is, I think, such an interesting yes. point, that a lot of the time, rugs, sometimes it comes down to your budget and your overall project. And, and you want to look. So you could see a certain thing and sometimes get it done a different technique, a different way for a better price point. Exactly. Next, on Sofla Home Project, we look at the versatile style and function of indoor-outdoor rugs. So many great options. Yes. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are here at the South Florida Design Park at the Stark Carpet Showroom with Priscilla Cronin, the showroom manager. Hi. Priscilla, you have joined us today. We've seen a lot. We've seen carpet trends. We've seen area rugs. We've seen lots of inspiration of different ways you could bring carpet into your home. We're in South Florida. We live in our outdoor spaces as well. And why not make them as fashionable as our interiors, right? Exactly. Let's just talk a little bit about what we're seeing in outdoor carpets. We've got this amazing, this looks like Masoni. It is. It is Masoni. The label. <laughs> so you really have like these uh, high fashion brands. Right. Well, you high know, Masoni, yeah, Masoni speaks for itself. You know Masoni design when you see one. A uh, little bit of geometric, a little floral, uh, you know, traditional. There is, this is a 16 foot wide, and then that is a geometric sort of transitional design. Absolutely. And, and these over here, there's a little bit of animal, bright colors. It reminds me of the sari colors. It's Yeah, absolutely. And these are so much fun. I love the mix of like the bold colors. They just pop out because a lot of the times we're seeing outdoor furnishings tend to be neutral and you bring in your color with the accent pillows and then well, with your rug. rug. Well, that's, that's the palette right there. That is the baseline for your, your design. What we found now, which has been happening in homes, is that people want larger sizes. So traditionally it was 12 foot wide or 13 two foot uh, wide. These, some of these designs right here, like this one, that one there, and these two here are 16 one wide. So you could fit this in large spaces. Exactly. You can really make them as big or small as you need. Indoor and outdoor. So you see a lot of clients coming in and, and customers asking to utilize a lot of these for the inside as well. Yes, because you see uh, young families with kids. So you Always spill great. something on it, you just wash it off with water. So that's all it takes to clean all of these. Exactly. You can literally take it outside and wash, take a little hose and go or just throw some water on it. It's beautiful. Price point on outdoor tend to be sometimes a little better or kind of we have a good range. Well, the, these are at the lower end of the price range. And so you can get a lot of bang for your buck. That's great. And that's yeah. why it's great for indoors as well. And it's so good for, you know, families, you know, or a second home that doesn't, they have a budget or whatever and they just want to look. This gets you the look. Priscilla, it's been a pleasure touring the Star Carpet Showroom and sharing with our viewers all of the amazing trends and what's out there in terms of area rugs and carpeting. Elena, thank you so much for coming to Stark, and we so appreciate the opportunity you've given us to show our product. It's truly been fun. And now let's see what Hunter Frankie from SoFlo Health has for us tomorrow. Hunter, what's going on? Look, Elena, this is the best design I got. It's Biscayne Bay, it's Miami, it's the Magic City, and I'm in Miami Beach. 
And tomorrow on SoFlow Health, we talk about all the benefits of almonds. We go over some vaccine news regarding COVID-19. We check in with Dr. Claudia Caprio to keep our mental state well during the holidays. We then go to Verde, taste some delicious food. We even go grocery shopping. It's all tomorrow right here on SoFlow Health at 1230 on Local 10. Thanks, Hunter. We'll definitely be watching. And to our viewers at home, we hope this left you inspired to get ready to select carpet and area rugs for your own home projects. And we hope to see you again next week for another episode of SoFlo Home Project right here on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like home. SoFlo Home. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, break out the holiday decorations we hope to inspire you to bring some much needed cheer home in 2020. If you missed any part of this makeover or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You can also submit your design disasters and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram.